This was the second Potomac Bassmasters tournament for the year. Uh, our first one was on Lake Anna, and it was a very rainy day, so I didn't even get the cameras out for it. Uh, didn't do great in that one. I only caught one fish, uh, but I ended up coming in third with that one fish. Uh, so uh, moving on to the Potomac River for our second event, it was pretty cold that morning. Uh, kind of raced my buddy to this spot, and we both kind of wanted to be in the same location. So we raced to the, in the wake zone, and then we... Uh, we, we'd idled on in, and uh, you'll see him here coming up in the screen. He's, he's on the same spot, uh, but we, uh, we shared it well and, and both uh, enjoyed our day out there. Uh, a lot of drop shot fishing in this one, uh, a lot of time in this marina. I really like this marina early in the year. It produces pretty well. Uh, enjoy the, the content. In addition to using the drop shot, I was throwing a spinner bait on occasion here and uh, crank bait back in there as well. I was, was hoping to get some moving moving bait bites, but uh, everything I caught uh, came on something slow today. So drop shot, uh, in the end, you'll see a couple of wacky rig bites, but uh, that uh, slow methodical bite was, was what was doing it for me today. May get a little hate over this at the end. You'll see me glancing down at my graphs. I do have active target on, and I did use it a little bit uh, today. Uh, it didn't help me a lot. I, I did see a few fish and cast to them. Uh, you'll see out uh, out at the ends of the docks, uh, I see some out in open water, and I spent some time casting to them. I think I caught one of them on a drop shot. I, I did spend uh, several minutes uh, to up to an hour throughout the day casting to other fish that were, that were spending their time out there beyond the docks out in the channel area and I couldn't get any of those to react or bite. I don't know if they were bass or some other fish, but uh, like I've said before, active target is a great tool, but it can also uh, waste a lot of your time if you're not careful how you use it. Another 14 and a half. Here's one of those times I was actually trying to catch some of those fish I could see. Um, I, I, this is one of the ones I did manage to get. It was a small fish on the drop shot. I, I also threw a Damiki rig out there at uh, different times trying to get them to react and spinner bait and a couple other things, but uh, there, there was a lot of wasted time on these fish for, for no good purpose.
shorty. Fourteen.
That one just barely makes 15, but it makes it. As I was fishing along here, I saw some line, and I tend to tend to try to pick up line when I see spare line around to keep uh, birds and whatnot from getting tangled up in it. In this case, the line was actually attached to a hook. Somebody had hooked into a rope here and uh, broken their line off. And if we're way out here, I, I almost guarantee you they were in a boat when they did this, though in my opinion, they should have gone and gotten that hook. Uh, somebody coming in here to use this rope and picking that up could uh, easily impale themselves with that hook. So I, I did my good bid for the day and got it out of there. Please don't leave hooks around like this. It may, gives, bas gives us fishermen a bad name. It's of no value to me, but I don't like leaving hooks laying around where people are going to stick their hands on ropes.
another one that barely makes it. I don't know if it's going to help me. We'll see. Closely at uh, many of these catches, you'll see that I'm using essentially the same worm in all of them. Uh, there's a couple of slightly different variations to it, but uh, I tend to pour my own worms, uh, especially drop shot worms, and uh, it's very pleasing to be able to catch fish, uh, consistently catch fish on something you create yourself, so I'm, I'm very happy about being able to do that. quarter pound upgrade. I'll take that.
chunky looking, right? exactly the same as my lightest fish, 2.07. So no call for me. my catches are shown with the uh, the drop shot and a couple of on the wacky rim. I, I, I did throw the spinner bait quite a bit. You can see it here. Uh, threw it crank bait a little bit. Uh, a few other things in there too. Um, mag draft type uh, baits. But uh, today for me they only wanted that slow drop shot and wacky rig presentation.
Debbie one. Barely over 15, but it's going to give me some weight. Nice half pound upgrade. After catching that last bass in the marina, I had about two hours left for the uh, end of the tournament. I decided to go out on the flat and see if I could catch some bigger fish out that way. The uh, the main flat out at uh, Belmont Bay was covered up with a bunch of boats, so I went over on the other side. And again, I drove a rattle trap through a spinner bait, through a crank bait. Um, ultimately went back to the wacky rig and picked up uh, this fish, which is my last one. In the end, I weighed in with the uh, five fish limit for 12.2 pounds. Uh, I was the only one in the tournament that day out of nine uh, boaters that, uh, that got a limit. Uh, there were a, Somebody had four, a couple guys had three, there were some twos and several ones. Um, the, the limit is what got me the win for 12.2 pounds. Uh, the second place and third place both came in at about uh, 10 pounds. So if they had that fifth fish, they would have they would have been right there with me and uh, potentially beat me. So uh, glad I spent my time in the marina. Glad I'm, I got the limit out of there, and uh, I would do it the same way again, uh, even if I did spend a little time out here trying to catch the bigger fish that I never never found. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.